typically have graffiti that comes on every day and goes off every day. That's not unusual in the beach setting. So instead of our painters being able to do um, big projects and paint facilities, they're constantly painting out graffiti. One of our challenges as, as designers of this mural was to address the graffiti issue that Doc Weiler and the concession area um, was currently having. One of the things that we've learned, I think, consistently is that community engagement is key, but the way in which artists engage the community is different for every one of our projects. So we facilitated two events here at Doc Weiler Beach with the Mobile Mural Lab. We asked a series of questions. collected that data um, and we went back to our studio and started to design a mural around the responses that were given back to us. Today we're actually back at Doc Weiler Beach where we're uh, initiating the actual painting of the mural. We invite master graffiti artists from Los Angeles that work alongside youth arts organizations here in LA and bring their youth and spray away to begin the first layer of the mural. This project is really cool because it does take the most annoying part to majority of society, the tagging. It presents it in a different way, right? Yeah, it's graffiti. Is it graffiti art or graffiti vandalism? In this case, it's graffiti art because it's funded, there's a concept behind it, creative, expressive, and having fun, and being able to interact with people and community. Graffiti vandalism, it's done on your own at night with the intention to destroy property. People need to like realize and at least try to understand what graffiti can be. We wanted our mural to function for those different times of day. To serving as names and text and then at night, some luminescent ammonite fossils will emerge as the sun goes down to reach that night audience. What the artists brought to this project, I could have never sat in a room and imagined and conceived of. It could have only happened through working with young people and teenagers who come to this beach, who use this beach, who became part of the process. Civic art is made for public consumption and therefore requires a certain sensitivity and a sensibility that reflects the public, but also expands public perceptions and attitudes and perhaps ideas about who we are as a community, who we are as a culture, and who we think we are and where we think we're going. If we can turn graffiti into artwork and to make it lasting and permanent and to have it be viewed with a positive light and, and involving youth in and showing how they can do things that have a positive role in the community, it's, it's fantastic.